all right everyone welcome back to the channel this is crypto takeover coming back with another video again for y'all this evening okay the markets just open china's markets are dumping right now the stock markets are about to open we're gonna see what's going on are the stocks gonna crash china's gonna crash is bitcoin is <laughs> is bitcoin going to zero y'all are about to find out on today's episode so stick around uh if y'all are interested in that and uh let's jump right on into it all right everyone so is bitcoin our only safe haven against this coronavirus that is breaking out right now that is the question and uh, we're going to take a look at the charts to see what they are saying what market cipher is telling us what our buy and sell indicators are telling us as well <clears throat> based on all this fiasco that is happening right now with the coronavirus in china uh, i was actually looking at some of the china <clears throat> stocks earlier today as well too and um, they seem to be falling off dumping i think china just injected uh over like billions of dollars uh, into them into their market to keep it afloat right now too so hyperinflation is on the rise right now as we speak uh, to this week in general I feel like it's just going to be uh, a make or break point for some of these markets right now so let's take a look at Bitcoin on our one hour first we're gonna kind of get in depth a little bit here just because I wanted to look at some of the other markets with uh, market cipher as well and determine what's happening with the China markets um, what is going on with our some of our other altcoins that i've been asked to look over to as well such as ethereum so let's dive on into it today we're taking a look at <clears throat> our one hour chart of bitcoin and uh, as you can see right now we are kind of moving below that 100 uh ema right now this uh the moving average uh does appear to be at about uh 91.20 right here let's see 93.21 is about where that uh, red EMA is at, which is our 100 uh, moving average. So we are kind of getting some consolidation right now. It looks like a flat is playing out at the moment. Our swing high is at about 9600, uh, where we recently just had a quick pump to hit all of our freaking stops. <laughs> Probably get some liquidations there on the rise. I know I got stopped out. Sorry about that, my alarm is going off. We're doing an early video today, so you're probably gonna hear a few things. Um, and uh, you just have to kinda uh, stay in the moment with me right now while I turn off all my freaking alarms for the morning. And yeah, we'll just turn these off. So we can do a fun video here for y'all. So some consolidation right now. We had that big stop out at 9600. Uh, hit my stop at least. Uh, but so honestly, and, and then we had a, another nice Darth Maul wig down to the downside to probably get some more stops and liquidations there as well. So thank you BTC. It's always nice trading with you every once in a while. You know, sometimes we can hit it uh, pretty well, and then sometimes we. We can't so what what I what my plan is right now is to just kind of wait to see if we do break and find resistance below this 100 EMA right now on our one hour <clears throat> and it does look like it kind of wants to move in that direction kind of simulating a little bit of a death cross with our <clears throat> 21 EMA crossing below our 100 currently trending below our VWAP pattern as well indicating that the bears do look like they want to take control of this market starting monday morning here after super bowl sunday so i hope that y'all all had a good super bowl sunday as well i am not a huge fan uh when it comes to stuff like that but uh <clears throat> you know to each his own and uh i hope that y'all were safe this past weekend too as well so with that being said we can see that our two hour here with our money flow still kind of trending off just like our one hour where we did kind of feel that we were going to put in some of that red money flow here um, probably pretty soon maybe going on into this week so we could see some downwards momentum going into this week maybe the first couple of days until wednesday or so i believe our two hour 100 ema is at about 9100 and i've been keeping up to date I've been keeping my Telegram group and my Discord group up to date, so I highly encourage y'all to join those groups as well. I have my Discord group that I constantly keep a lookout for. They're in there asking me questions all the time, and I'm responding to them. 
so I do have a Patreon group also where you will have a chance to um, get more live signals with me uh, throughout the day as well. The Telegram group is free though, so if y'all want to join the Telegram group, y'all can do that by all means, please do. It's constantly growing. The channel's growing in general, y'all, so I want to thank everyone uh, for their desire to work with me in the cryptocurrency area to join the takeover community and with that being said I do have a newsletter that I will be sending out periodically as well uh, I am going to do a video this week on the whales buy sell indicator and those settings that I use so I'll be putting out a private video only for the people that sign up for the newsletter so go ahead and get signed up um, before I would say Wednesday and then I'll have that video up more than likely by Thursday on how to set that up um, but that will be moved to a private video off of YouTube <clears throat> that only my newsletter people my telegram group and my discord group will get <clears throat> so feel free to uh, sign up for those free things there I plan to do a giveaway at 5,000 subs too as well which will be the ledger nano s so keep growing the, the channel, keep liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell, um, coming back, commenting, telling me, uh, giving me feedback on what your favorite altcoins or how you feel about Bitcoin that day, um, however you may feel. Just looking forward to hearing back from y'all too. <clears throat> I do have the Patreon group in here. Uh, we're constantly growing too now as well. And it's just... It's, I just feel really grateful for everyone that's wanting to support me too as well. So I'll be doing a few shout outs here to y'all um, at the end of the video <clears throat> for my Patreon members as well. And so let's take a look at our four hour here. Four hour money flow does look like it's kind of peeking out just a tad bit. We do have that nice blood diamond here that is appearing once again on our four hour. So this is the first time me seeing this and causes me to want to say okay we need to get ready for some movement to the downside the fact that we did have a blood diamond um this past weekend and one here on monday as well too uh, indicates that yes we are probably going to be moving towards the downside here in a little bit currently finding some resistance maybe falling underneath our 21 ema to find some support or resistance here in the next couple of hours we will keep an eye on that let's take a look at our six hour here six hour i will turn off cypher sr as well currently going to be testing that 21 exponential moving average here in the short term whether or not we fall below it that is yet to be determined but as i can say right now is that um, based on our money flow it does seem to want to trickle off just a tad bit we have seen our money flow start to trend back to the upside sometimes too but I I would say based on some of the hysteria that's going on in all the markets right now with the coronavirus with the hyperinflation um, I think we're in for a, an interesting rest of the rest of this week at least uh, to begin February off with so Let's take a look at our 12 hour here and I do want to turn on my whales by sell signals as well since I forgot I didn't have those on I did want to see what the four hours given us so far a lot of sell signals are in are um, indicating some movement to the downside as well 12 hour sell signal I feel really confident about this one y'all and uh, I feel that we will have maybe at least probably a 5% move to the downside more than likely let's see what that 5% move would probably give us here at that candle body at about 8800 or so <clears throat> and we've been kind of thinking that that is going to take place on this channel for the past couple of videos as well if y'all have been following so please uh, like like the videos go back and watch those tell me what y'all thought about them and uh, we'll take a look at our one day here as well our one day 200 EMA is still at about our 100 EMA uh, daily EMA is about 8800 as well that's where I feel like we need to come back down and retest it does kind of look like we are getting somewhat of a bullish cross here on our 21 uh, exponential and then our 100 daily EMA as well 
so indicating that we could have some more movement to the upside but i feel that we are in some consolidation right now and we just need to wait to see what's going to happen to these markets here in the short term whether or not that's a quick sell-off and then we move back to the upside or if it's a slow bleed out and then we start to move back to the upside. I'm still relatively kind of bullish on Bitcoin right now, but I feel that we need to come back down and at least test the 8,800 area just to be, um, just to just to have a healthier market for us for the most part, and um, not indicating a big blow off top just yet. So <clears throat> we'll see what we have in store for the rest of this week, though. If we take a look at our two day here, two day no sell signal. Um, no big indications here on our two day just yet money flow does look like it wants to start to move into the green That's why I would suspect that maybe by Wednesday or Tuesday uh, The markets may have cooled off with the sell-off pressure and then start to make their way back to the upside But we will we will wait and see y'all wait and see <clears throat> So I did tell y'all about the newsletter to get signed up for. I am using TradingView. If y'all want to help support the channel as well, y'all can sign up with the affiliate link that I have. Or if y'all want to just buy and hold, which is highly recommended, I recommend getting a Ledger Nano X or S. I'm, giving, I'm doing the giveaway at 5,000 subs for the Ledger Nano S. So please stay tuned for that as well and share this video so that way we can continue to grow the channel. And I appreciate everyone's support too as well. I do have my Bybit link down in the description box below. Leverage trading is not recommended, but if you are wanting to learn how to trade, you can use Bybit, um, and you should start off by using the test net first. So you want to use the link in the description box, but then you also want to message support and ask them how to get signed up for the test net. Um, this will allow you to trade fake, B fake BTC. And from there, you can decide whether or not you're a profitable trader or not, whether or not your algorithm is working or you need to fine tune it before you actually deposit your real BTC on the uh, exchange or Bybit exchange. <clears throat> so let's take a look at our three day. We're still kind of moving to the upside just a tad bit. Our red money flow is kind of coming back to this downside here, maybe kind of looking like a inverse head and shoulders that could be forming here to maybe send us to the upside. So that could be a bullish setup for us with some bullish divergence maybe happening here on our money flow as well too. <clears throat> a pretty cool indication there that um, we've seen some of these inverse head and shoulders on our Cypher uh, B uh, kind of play out sometimes as well too. So maybe short term, short term bearish right now, but I do feel that overall momentum will be up to the upside possibly later on um, so we're just going to kind of wait and see what's going to happen here so i know that um, one of my mentors right now one of the groups that i'm in send crypto we're still kind of waiting on this death cross to come back down and consolidate that is a possibility it still could be in play uh, we are just going to wait to see what exactly happens with these markets we we are in a high volatility month and we just need to um, <clears throat> make sure that we are stacking our hodls, our <laughs> our hodl crypto on the side of this, and also just doing proper risk management while we're in this market. If you are trading or if you're hodling, um, so I give two recommendations on two altcoins that I am in heavy heavy accumulation of right now on my Patreon page. So y'all can get subscribed to that and know what two cryptos. Um, I am in heavy accumulation of that will ultimately um, outperform Bitcoin and maybe even flip the market cap of Bitcoin um, within the next few years as well too. But uh, you will have to get signed up for the Patreon for that and I appreciate everyone's support through there as well too <clears throat> if you do decide to go that route. If you do want to leverage uh, your Bitcoin and trade uh, but you are a US based resident then you need to be using Prime XBT. This allows you to trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple, EOS, allows you to trade fiat currencies as well as gold and silver using Bitcoin itself. So a very cool website that y'all can check out if y'all want to as well, link down in the description box. I also use the Brave browser to browse the web, a super lightweight browser that 
you can use on a day-to-day -day basis and also earn bat token so you can see i've been earning bat token for the past couple of months here just clicking on ads that pop up in the bottom right hand corner of my screen so as they use the browser you'll see um add an ad to that pops up in the bottom right hand corner you just click that ad that to say that you want to view it and you can actually disable ads here uh if you want so you can have no ads virtually or if you want to earn bat token you can always um, opt into that to click the ads so <clears throat> this will definitely be a browser that will probably be heavy heavily adopted in the near future as well too if y'all do want to mine bitcoin straight from your web browser you can sign up for the crypto tab browser you basically just log in with your google uh, account and then you can run it on computers that you don't use or that you have stored somewhere that you've never used in a, in a while uh, it's a great way to use that old hardware to mine Bitcoin. So I'm running it on like two old laptops, a phone, a laptop, a phone, a tablet, um, and it's basically just mining Bitcoin for me. So um, I don't have it pulled up right now because I am screen recording on this laptop right now, but um, y'all can check it out. A super convenient way to start earning b passive income um, and to get started. Uh, just mine B mining BTC without the big hassle of ASIC miners and setting all that up too. So I do have an Instagram page. Y'all can follow me on there and y'all can reach out to me on Twitter if you'd like. I know Twitter just introduced a um, Bitcoin emoji. So that is very cool. As you can see here, MM Crypto um, using the hashtag Bitcoin indicating uh, that the Bitcoin emoji is there. So in order to use the Bitcoin emoji, basically all you do is you uh, hashtag Bitcoin and that emoji will appear right there. So we can start to see how this adoption is going to take place with subtle things of that nature that maybe just an emoji will mean something in the future for your favorite altcoin or something too, you know, you never know. So <clears throat> our five day here. Still looking like it has some bullish momentum, but also kind of uh, trending to the downside here with our money flow just a tad bit. It does kind of look like we peaked out a little bit on money flow um, to maybe start to indicating some, some downwards momentum as well. Uh, maybe possibly like a trigger wave. I kind of want to see uh, if I draw some lines out here on Cypher B for us just to see what, what we might have as far as a decision point of what BTC wants to do. So... Let's say BTC tops out at about like right here and then on Cypher B at least. And then we also do that same thing down here. Our decision point would probably be around September, October, somewhere around there. If we don't see any major moves to the upside or downside. So we'll just keep an eye on it, y'all. That's just something that I, I saw CryptoFace do the other day on his video. And, um, you know, it, it kind of just indicates a, a wedge point for us to kind of break in and out of. So you can keep an eye on that for y'all as well. Maybe still anticipating this death cross. We will see what happens though. Our weekly time frame. still no final predicament on upside momentum just yet, but we are making our way above our zero point pivot, which usually is resistance. We can zoom in here on Cypher B as well. Looks like we have some nice money flow that's starting here on our weekly too. So looking somewhat bullish for us here on these higher time frames. And then our monthly, as we know, we put in that huge candle here to close off January, last couple of weeks of January, where a big turn um, to the upside for us. So we will see what February holds for us, whether or not it is going to be uh, a bullish or bearish month. Um, I just think it's going to be a pretty high volatility month. So we need to be prepared for this. We need to be doing our analysis each and every single day. So my plan for y'all is to still release a video every single day of February as well. And um, I hope that y'all appreciate that and that y'all continue to come back and support the channel as well too. So I did want to take a look also at some of the Chinese um, <clears throat> markets. Uh, and I want to say that I think I have to refresh this page, reload it, because I was looking at it the other night, or before I went to bed, I did take a look at it here, and I think it's the Shanghai Composite Index. So we're going to take a look at this really quick.
And as you can see, the market opened up with just a huge downside momentum. <laughs> Our one month has a freaking red diamond on it, a red blood diamond. So <clears throat> this is pretty wild, y'all, to see uh, a blood diamond on <laughs> the one month of the Shanghai Composite Index, with, which is basically the um, Chinese stock market. So we can see that something is not looking right y'all something is brewing with maybe this coronavirus uh it's kind of just gives me the chills a little bit to just see this for the most part to see a blood diamond on the one month is like whoa china is going to be in for some stuff and um i think it, it's going to be pretty interesting you know it's uh, i was watching someone else's video the other day about this whole scare and how basically people cannot move their money in and out of china right now so some of their only hope is to uh buy bitcoin at that as well too <clears throat> but the last time we had a one month um red diamond was back here in 2013 so that was a while back and uh, it looks like it gave us a pretty big move to the downside here too. Let's see what, what percentage that was. But this is just another thing to say that a hey, market cipher does not play around, yo. Like <laughs> it, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing, man. Like to see that we're getting a blood diamond on our one month. I can only imagine what's going to happen too. So, <clears throat> and I think that this is also a blood diamond. If I turn off my buy, will sell. So we had a blood diamond back here. We had a quick pump, anticipating a red X here. But uh, let's also take a look at our five day, just kind of curious. This huge, huge gap here once we opened. Uh, so <clears throat> pretty wild. Uh, that I wonder what percentage of a gap that is. About a 10% move. And in stock markets, that's that's a pretty substantial move. For Bitcoin, obviously, we see that uh, day in and day out for the most part. But for stock markets, I can only imagine what's kind of going on over there right now in China. So <clears throat> that'll be something that we need to look on as well. I did want to get around to Ethereum. Sorry, I've been kind of dragging along the video just a tad bit. Um, but someone wanted me to look at Ethereum for them. So we're going to kind of take a look at it with Market Cipher here really quick. <clears throat> Uh, and I think it was June ID, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, June ID asked, any update on Ethereum? So let's take a look at Ethereum here. We'll, we'll, we'll start off on our, actually, we'll just start off on our 12 hour and see what's happening here on our 12 hour. And we can pull up our buy well sales indicators as well, see what's happening. We've had some nice movement with Ethereum too as well. Uh, some solid, solid move to the upside. So our last indication was a buy signal on our 12 hour. Some nice bullish momentum, even with our money flow trending up to the red. It doesn't quite look like it's topped out just yet. So I feel that there's still some more momentum possibly to the upside. I would say maybe anywhere from about two, I would say from 190 to 200. That's definitely a possibility for us. It seems like here with Ethereum right now money flow kind of moving into the into the green so <clears throat> indicating that we still could have some more movement to the upside here but um ethereum is looking kind of bullish right now as well too for the most part if we jump into our lower time frames i did kind of want to look at the six hour just to see what that's telling us money flow maybe kind of topping out just a tad bit so um if we do see that 200 dollar ethereum I would expect maybe by next week possibly or by the end of this week but um, I would say we need to hit 190 possibly first to see what Ethereum can do for us at about 190 does kind of look like we are putting in somewhat of that double top back at 198 190 area our smooth moving average is at this uh, white line here on our one day uh, roughly at about 198 200 dollars so that I would imagine the 200 dollar mark is going to be some resistance for us to break through um, but I feel that it could head up to that 200 dollar mark here pretty soon which is super bullish for ethereum <clears throat> good to see a project like that do well um, I used to hold some ethereum I sold it a while back I think at that I think back at like two three forty or 350 or something like that so 
I had some nice pretty I had some nice profit with Ethereum. That was a that was a good one that I, I had to I definitely feel um, like Ethereum is going to be around for the long term too as well. So <clears throat> definitely a good accumulation project <clears throat> here in our five day still movement to the upside as well. Let's just go into our weekly or monthly real quick. Breaking through that zero pivot moving point too, just like Bitcoin as well. Starting to put in a green money flow here in our weekly. We have a green triangle indicating a trend reversal. <clears throat> so maybe some movement to the upside, uh, maybe possibly a little bit more before we see rejection. So that's looking really nice for Ethereum. Take a look at our monthly here. Monthly is not telling us too much. Uh, not a lot of data on Cypher B. Uh, so we will have to just wait and see what um, we get once Ethereum starts moving along into the next, into this year at least, so for the most part. But yeah, uh, I would say Ethereum's looking relatively bullish to probably hit about 200 and then maybe find some resistance there. <clears throat> and uh, with Bitcoin possibly indicating some downwards momentum uh, to begin the week off. And then from there, possibly continuing more to the upside. So we will we will just take a look at these charts. Uh, whether or not the coronavirus is going to impact Bitcoin or not, we're going to keep an eye on it just to, just to take a look at it. But it does look like China is being affected by this uh, drastically right now. So <clears throat> we need to keep China in our prayers for the most part and um, just hope that everything is okay over there. And make sure that you're staying healthy as an individual too. Um, so... Make sure you're taking care of your bodies, um, doing what you need to do to stay healthy out there. So I did want to give a shout out to my Patreon members, uh, BTC Punisher, Aik Un, Ogus, Dogzano, Dosano, Dosan, Dos, Dox, Dog and Soy, Dog and Soy, Ogus, Dog and Soy, yeah. Paul A. Keller, Pedro Cardenas, and Unique Object. Thanks for uh, being Patreon members. I really appreciate y'all. I just sent y'all a message. Um, so look at the messages if y'all get this and uh, respond back to me. I just had a quick question for uh, some of y'all there. <clears throat> but with that being said, thanks for coming back to uh, Crypto Takeover. Please join the takeover, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that way y'all can get updated every single day that I produce a video. I will see y'all again tomorrow. CTO signing out. Stay safe, y'all. Thank you.